Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we are going to tackle the very last challenge of the intermediate section. So that's awesome. If you made it this far, pat yourself on the back. It's really a fantastic accomplishment. However, we still have one more section, the advanced algorithmic challenges. Um, there are fewer of those. There's only about maybe 10 or, or 12 of them. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, this last intermediate challenge is certainly a good um, taste of what to expect in the next challenge. What we have here today is quite meaty. I hope that we can get through it in 15 minutes or less. Anyway, enough talk with me. Let's jump into the challenge. Let's see what we have to do and um, you really understand the instructions. Um, I've said this many times before, but the first step to any coding challenge is understanding exactly what the problem is um, before you write any code. So it's called arguments optional. Create a function that sums two arguments together. If only one argument is provided, then return a function that expects one argument and returns the sum. For example, add together right, with a two arguments, two comma three, should return five. And add together two, okay, which is one argument, should return a function. And calling this return function with a single argument will then return the sum. Okay, so um, so you can see right here, all right, add together only has one argument and it's gonna return a function. So actually this variable is now the function. And uh, on this example line right here, now we're giving it a, um, now we're giving it an argument of three, so it also returns five. If either argument isn't a valid number, return undefined. Okay, so uh, to help you, um, you know, understand this, uh, definitely read these helpful links about closures and the arguments object. Um, you're already familiar with the arguments object. We played around with it in some of the challenges. Uh, let's quickly look at uh, some of the test cases that we have to pass for this challenge, and then we'll jump into the code. Okay, so uh, this was the first one that we've seen. All right, it has two arguments. They're both numbers. So we just simply add those numbers together, returns five. Okay, uh, here we have one argument, two, and that returns a function. And then we give that return function another argument, three. Both of the arguments are valid numbers, so it also returns five. All right, here we have uh, one argument, but it's a string, it's not a number, so right off the bat, we just return undefined for that. Here as well, we've got two arguments, but um, we have a string as one of them, so that returns undefined. And then finally, we have uh, something similar to what we had up here, but look at this, this is, uh, this is not, a, this is not a, a number, uh, this would uh, this would be classified as uh, as an object, um, an array, in um, in um, in JavaScript. So uh, that should also return undefined. So with that said, let's jump into the text editor. I already went ahead and created a new JavaScript file, 21 argumentoptional.js, and I went ahead and embedded that. Uh, in my example.html file, which I have opened here uh, in the Chrome browser. Um, okay, there we are. And okay, let's get uh, to work. Um, let's see, what are we gonna do? <laughs> All right, so um, throughout this challenge, excuse me, let me check how much time I have. I got plenty of time, great. So throughout this challenge, um, in order to know whether we're going to return, um, you know, undefined or not, uh, we have to check whether or not the argument, whether it's, uh, you know, kind of two like this or um, just one argument and then the, the extra argument later on, um, we have to check whether or not those arguments are actually numbers. And 
Um, well, mm, yeah, if they're, if they're not numbers, then we, we just have to return undefined. And we can do this. It's going to be kind of repetitive. And uh, we have to, you know, really dry up our code. Dry means don't repeat yourself. So uh, to get started, I'm going to write one uh, helper method. Um, this is a method inside of a method, and it's going to, um, it's, it's just going to be, you know, used a lot. So we write it one time, and it's going to be very helpful to us. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to write that helper method, and uh, we can get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to call this helper method check if number. All right, so we're just writing a function like we normally do. Check if number. I'm going to give it one value, num. Okay, and I'm going to use type of, and you've seen this before. So return type of. So um, every you know piece of data uh, has a type, and we have number, string, we have objects for you know object literals and uh, arrays. We've got all sorts of you know different types, and that's how we can you know check it. Um, and it, it returns a string value to us, so it's really easy to check what the type is. So return type of num, okay, um, number. And I'm going to do a shortened version of an if statement using the ternary operation. You've seen this before too. So uh, basically, uh, if if the type of this variable num is actually a number, if it returns the string value of number, then we're just going to return that value, okay, whatever the number is. If it is not a number type, if it's a string or an object or anything else, then we're going to return undefined, okay? So this is basically a shortened if statement, if else statement. So here's the condition that we're testing, okay? And uh, to the right of the question mark uh, are the two possible, possible paths that can be taken. Um, if this condition evaluates to true, we're going to um, execute whatever is on the left side of the colon. And if this condition is false, we're going to execute whatever is on the right side of the colon. So that's what's happening. We check the type of the variable num. If that type is uh, equal to the string value number, then we're just going to return its value. Uh, else, uh, we're going to return undefined. Okay, so that's going to be very helpful to us. Um, now, I would like to um, I would like to store our arguments in separate variables. So I'm going to do that right now. So var a, uh, and I'm going to pass it into our um, into our uh, helper method. Check if number. And uh, remember, the arguments object is sort of like an array. You can access the different arguments using uh, like index numbers, and you can call the length method on it. Uh, that's about it. it. It's an array. It's like an array, but it's not actually an array. But we can still access uh, the values of the arguments object uh, just by using brackets as if we're accessing values in an array. So var a and var b, I'm going to do the same thing here, check if number, argument, and okay, that should be the second one. And uh, there's there's no harm in doing this. Um, if there's if there's no second argument, uh, you know, var b is just going to evaluate to undefined. Um, it's not going to break the, the code or, or break the application or anything. So um, I, I'm just going to leave it like this, um, and, and it'll work with one or you know two arguments. So if arguments dot length, if it is uh, greater than one, so in other words, if it's two, all right, we're going to check if both of those arguments are numbers, and if they are, then it will uh, just add up the numbers. So return A and B. And I'm going to do another ternary, A plus B, undefined. All right, so you've seen this before. If 
All right, so going back up, if we have two arguments, if it's more than one, and you know, I can write this, or I can even say you know, something like this, that's totally fine. I'll just leave it like this. All right, remember we stored uh, the A and B value. It's the result of this check if number function. Okay, and if it is indeed a number, it, we're just returning the, uh, the value, the number back into it. If it's other, anything other than a number, if it's a string, object, whatever, it's going to be undefined. So if A and B, so in other words, if these are both truthy values, uh, then it's going to evaluate to true, and then we'll just return the sum of A and B. But if one of them is a falsy value, in other words, if one of them is undefined, then we're going to return undefined. So um, that's how we check if uh, both numbers are um, if both numbers are um, you know truthy or falsy or what. And if they're both truthy, then they're they're both numbers. We know that because we've used this check if number. We uh, stored the result of that in the variable a and b. Okay, so um, we got that out of the way. Now, what do we do if there is only one? argument. Well, let's go ahead and get that. Ooh, and I'm going to have to kind of hurry up and skitter around because I've only got about four minutes remaining on my video. All right, so um, uh, if we only have one argument, uh, let's first check if that argument, the, the one and only argument, is a number. So we're going to say if a. All right, uh, because if it's a number, it's going to be a truthy value, a number. And if it's not a number, it's going to be undefined because we've stored the result of a, uh, uh, we stored the result of this check if number in the variable a. So if a, in other words, if a truthy value, then we're going to return a function. Okay, return. And uh, remember, uh, in, in JavaScript, you can return anything. You, you can return any value. You can even return another function. Totally cool. So function. And I'm going to give it uh, this argument. I'll call it y. Check my time here. Ooh, I got to go. All right. And now we have to check whether or not the, the uh, optional argument is, is a number. So remember here. Okay, in this test here, it worked, but for these other two tests, all right, it doesn't work. All right, so let's check if if the uh, if the uh, second argument uh, is is actually a number, if not or not. So if check if number y. Right? So if y is actually a number, okay, then just return the result of that. Else. Return undefined. Oops. Okay, and then uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to uh, make sure. Okay, I need a semicolon after that. Okay, and then you can see my syntax highlighting. I've got like a, it matches the opening and closing brackets together. So I just need an else right here, and then return undefined. Okay. All right, okay, still enough time. Let me just save this. I should get the number five in my, uh, in my console, I do. Let's do it a little bit differently. I'm going to save this and then I'll do it the other way. Save that, refresh it. Oh, not the number. That, huh, that shouldn't, hmm. Okay, something funky is acting up. Let me do this. Hmm. Hmm. Let me check if this works in the in free code camp. I think something is funky. Oh, something is funky. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Uh, okay. I gotta add Y here, not the B. Okay, so let me just change that to Y and not B. Okay, terminate, it works. 
All right, so that's all the time that I have now. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Boop.